Molex Synthes is a puzzle game made by the development studio Zactronics, whose mere mention will scare the hose. It was recommended to me by a good friend who pointed out that it takes place in a shitty cold Romanian apartment and it's about chemistry. Hey, I thought, I live in a shitty cold Romanian apartment and I'm a bit of chemistry. So I pirated the game because the price was a bit too blue for my blood and heard my downstairs lady neighbor shriek in panic, startled by the occurrence. I started focusing on something else and forgot about the game which was now destined to sit in my start menu for the next 3 months. I was occasionally reminded by the game and put it off every time thinking that by not touching it it will increase my chances at finding a nice strad girl with gargantuan baduncas. During these 3 months I had an unusual amount of shitty things happen to me from losing 15 lei by betting on Trump to having my house invaded by gypsies and losing a thumb in the struggle. I lost everything and normally this put me through a brutal depressive episode going through increasingly destructive measures of self-harm which just meant continuing to live in Romania. I culminated sometime at the end of November by realizing that the illiterate peasant Whitfield girl with a sense of humor I was thinking about was not real as there are no women with senses of humor. I open the game. Outside I hear a car screech and a loud fuck. Apparently, a girl started spontaneously screaming and running out into the streets right through incoming traffic. The driver had no chance to steer away. Tragic, but nothing I could do. It has a nice pixelated 1970s computer aesthetic, even though it takes place in 2092, which is an optimistic portrayal of the rate at which we Romanians adopt technology. You start out having to make hydrogen peroxide using molecules of water. The tutorial consists of two lines of text which explain nothing. The game is like one of those tortoise programs. You have some steps and you gotta put instructions in them. Those commands come out of these guns, numbered 1 through 6, each with their own direction of firing. The game bases its mechanics on how chemical bonds form in real life. Long story short, every element has a different capacity to form bonds with other elements, called valence. Hydrogen has a valence of 1, oxygen has 2, carbon has 4, and so on. Atoms always want to create bonds with others, meaning that if you use one of the guns to take away a hydrogen atom from a molecule, the atom that the hydrogen was connected to will want to form a bond again with something else. That's what you mostly have to do in the game, strategically add and take away hydrogen to create or break connections. The guns also have other commands, which help in further manipulating the stuff on the puzzle board, all in the service of creating a functional repeatable conveyor belt of commands that result in the gold molecule on the right. For example, if you want to extract the carbon from this carbon-oxygen composed wood alcohol molecule, you shove some hydrogen into the oxygen, breaking the bond, and then send a deletion command its way. Now isolated, this small insignificant methyl group can then be slapped at the end of an adderal molecule, turning it into meth. If I didn't know all the stuff I said about bonds from high school, I would have been fucked. And I was for a handful of minutes, not realizing that you don't have to push the two atoms together to create the thing. From there on, it was smooth sailing. The numbers of precursors, which are the pre-assembled molecules you insert into the puzzle board, and the number of commands I could play with increased as I played. I picked up little tricks along the way, like using multiple guns instead of one to do the work. As you get better scores, the less steps the sequence you make takes. By the time I go to Mescaline, the 14th puzzle, I heard a loud BANG followed by an eruption of matter from my floor. Confused at first, I have since learned that it was a round of buckshot my downstairs neighbor fired upwards into her mouth to kill herself, which penetrated through my parquet. As I was looking disappointed into the hole, knowing that the number of falling hazards in my apartment had increased to 6, I saw the woman's walls. There was scribbling all over them in big red letters reading dread 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 a shitty piece of interior design i do not blame the woman for killing herself i go back to the game ketamine is a bitch to figure out 
I quit and played the included solitaire game. With a unique twist of changing the cards of K, Q, G, A to T, K, D, V. You can also do this cheating maneuver, which fucks you over more times than it actually helps you. It turns out the gimmicky solitaire games are some sort of tradition Zachtronics games have. I can't take this horror anymore! I hear, in a raspy feminine voice. A body quickly falls down by my window, followed by a fog. Oh god, that was Miss Pulanu. She used to give us the best haircuts. I look outside my window. Pandemonium. The woman have gone crazy, running away from an invisible threat, a primordial fear on their faces. The men look around confused. Is this a period thing or something more? I continue the base game, which is quite addictive. There is nothing better than hearing that beep trrr sound it makes at the end of each puzzle. It's got a good amount of levels to complete, but you are essentially doing the same operation over and over again. And the only refreshing experience I had after a while was when I figured out what the fuck the shunt command did. I also wish you could create your own goals. I can see my youth being wasted away in a sandbox mode, making stuff like RDX, trinitrotoluene, triacetone triperoxide, ammonium nitrate, picric acid. God forbid, if I can't make them in a video game, I might end up doing them in real life. <laughs> In the distance, something explodes, the ground shakes with a loud boom, and my windows shatter. I take my headphones off and hear the crying and screaming. Military helicopters are flying above. An agitated mob approaches me, chanting. They have isolated the cause of the horror. Me. I was the one scaring the hoes. As they kick in my apartment door, it suddenly all comes to me. This could be something great, this could be our chance, an everlasting utopia, imagine a world free of women, no more nagging, no more OSHA regulations, no tarot cards, no shoes, no speed limits, no bullshit, just bros, being bros platonically, kings being free, no more loud latinas, just peace and silence. I explain this to the mob, they do not listen, I am apprehended and put in a kangaroo court. The trial reaches its verdict for my abhorrent crimes. Seven weeks in the fog bag. <laughs>